Hi, hi performer. I absolutely love seeing you here. Today, let us talk about one of the key factors for you to achieve your goals. And that, my friend, is for you to stay connected to your vision. This is Maria Linden, mentor and high performance coach, helping you to reach success and fulfillment. How do you stay in connection with your vision then? Well, your vision is, of course, this bigger picture of what it is you want to achieve. It's not just I want to have this money or I want to build a business with 100 employees, but it's really the bigger picture. And what is really important is for you to stay connected to this, because in the beginning, many times it's very clear to you. It's very vibrant. It's very alive. And you can really just see this for yourself and you can feel it. And it's like you've been there and it's because you have that. What we see when we are working with so many entrepreneurs and leaders and CEOs is that many times with time, they lose this connection. And this is when it's starting to get hard. This is when the struggle comes in. Because if you're not in connection with your vision, you cannot be pulled by your bigger vision and your bigger why. And you will start to just micromanage or you will get caught in distractions of everyday life or administration. Uh, instead of just keeping your head high, working towards your vision. and uh, here, once again, we're talking about working like in your business or on your business. So staying in connection with your uh, vision is extremely powerful and very, very crucial. How do you do then? Well, today, let's talk about two ways for how you can stay in connection with your vision. Tip number one is for you to now, especially now when we're recording this video and we, when many of us are coming back from vacation, is for you to just schedule vision time. And during this time, you just reconnect with your vision. You tap into this energy again. You tap into the state. And you need to find your ways. For some people, it might be being out in nature, like myself. For other people, it might be other power places, or it might be tapping to a certain type of memory, or using music, or meditation, or visualization. But just really just go into this state again, into this place that is so vibrant and so alive, that you actually feel feel it, that you are already there. And I want you, my friend, to really use all your senses, not just your head, not just think about it, but also see it in front of you, feel it in your body. Really, if there are any sounds, if there are smells, if there are, you know, like feeling sensations on your body, really use all your senses. And once you have done this, your brain will reconnect with this. Your cells will once again be activated and reconnect with this, meaning that you will be in connection with your bigger vision, with also all this help and guidance and support that this will give you. I also want to tell you that when you are in connection with your bigger vision, this will also work as a magnet. So both your vision and you will become magnets for the right possibilities, for the right circumstances, the right people, the right resources that will bring you towards your goal. Instead of you having a goal, you being here and just pushing and struggling to try to get towards it and achieve it. So it's a much, much more smooth and powerful and also joyful way for how you can achieve your goals. So that was tip number one. Tip number two, my friend, is to do this on a regular basis. And here I would like for you to schedule vision time every single week. Um, this could be, for example, an hour per week, or it could be even if it's five minutes, but you need to reconnect with your vision to really stay in this connection. And uh, with this, you will make sure that you have a high vibration. You will make sure that you lift your head and that you focus on the bigger goal, the bigger picture, so you can work on your business, not just in your business. And you will be able also to enjoy the journey so much more. And also I would like to add here, you will be able also to see the synchronicity and everything that is coming up and grab these opportunities compared to if you are just looking down here, just being stressed out, just micromanaging uh, and just trying to just like get rid of fires. So my friend, keep your head high, stay in connection with your vision, feel it with your entire being and your body. And you will see that the way that you achieve your goals will become totally transformed. Let us now summarize what we have been talking about and covering in today's training. So one of the key factors when it comes to you achieving your goals is for you to stay in connection with your vision. 
Tip number one is for you to really set aside time for vision time. And here I would like to add, set aside more time. This could be, for example, an entire day or an entire week. And really, really reconnect with this. And also, now tip number two is for you to schedule time, vision time, on a regular basis. So at least once a week. For example, an hour, I suggest, but otherwise uh, 30 minutes or five minutes each week when you really tap into this energy and state. That was everything that we wanted to share with you today. I really, really hope that this inspires you. And if you like this tip and if you like this video, make sure you go to www.lindenmaria.com and sign up for my newsletter. Because that way I will be able to send you my latest videos with tips just like this one. Plus also some special gifts and secrets and bonuses that I only share with you in email. With all my heart, may this serve you. And remember this, you have the power to change the world. Keep believing in yourself. Keep choosing love over fear. And know that you can create miracles in your life and in your business.